Welcome to the No Budget Indie Film Cast, where we dip into the independent film universe to highlight those little films that you might not have heard about elsewhere. Do will you agree with our panel, or will our panel agree with each other? Tune in to find out. I am Milo Dennison, and with me, as always, is Claire Milan. Hello. And Cahal Feeney. Hello. This week, we watched a short animated film called In a Heartbeat. It's written and directed by Esteban Bravo and Beth David. And what it follows is a little boy who's got a crush on another little boy, and they're quite cute and stuff. And basically, anybody who's kind of been a child and had this kind of a crush probably has had this experience where you like, you want to talk to the person, but you're too shy and scared to. And then, like, maybe they see you and your heart kind of do that beating out, you know, and you're like, oh, your heart's going to beat out of your chest statement kind of thing. Well, in this case, that happens. So the boy that he's got a crush on, it's almost sees him. He hides behind a tree and his heart starts beating really loudly. And then his heart pops out of its chest, his chest in a good way, not in a disgusting, bloody way. And his little animated heart goes chasing after the little, little boy. And the boy with the crush goes and tries to stop the heart from doing that to embarrass him. And he's very shy and stuff. And so it's just kind of this cute little interaction with the two as the heart's trying to get him to the boy and the shy boy because you know you're kids and and uh you're, you're embarrassed about your crushes and stuff like that so it's quite a quite a nice little take on it um uh, apparently with some of the trivia on it they were initially going to have it with like a boy and a little girl apparently but they decided to change it to another little boy which i think adds another layer because now like as adults if you're if you're gay and you know you have a crush on a boy you're probably a bit more comfortable than letting that person know whereas like if you're a kid in school i'm sure there's much more you know potential embarrassment around it like hey i've got a crush on this another little boy does he also feel the same way or will he make fun of me because you know, because of that aspect of it. So I, I, it adds a layer to it, which I really like, because it's not just a question of, does he like me back? It's also a question of what will the other kids in the school think? Um, and they kind of show a little aspect of that there as well. Um, so it's a, just kind of a cute. I like the animation. I think it's done really nicely. There's no dialogue. It's just through actions and music, which plays along really nicely. Mm -hmm. I loved this film. I love like just the opening, the beat of the music just sucks you in, and it's like it's kind of like a Disney-ish film. You know the big eyes and everything, and it 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 drags you along, and just with the whole the heart and yeah, I I just thought it it was beautiful and it leaves a lovely impression with you at the end and. Um yeah, you just you're so invested in the story, even though there's no dialogue. It's it's so beautifully made and animated and it gives you a nice warm feeling at the end. Uh, yeah, I thought it was terrific. Uh, I'm not, what, is, it, is it a student made film or? Yeah, it was a made student it? made film. So they were both wow. students when they made this film and this was their student project. So props on the quality amazing. for a student film. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, just the quality of the animation and, and again with the music and yeah the, it's it's great clever as well just with with the heart and um just it, it beating in the chest and then breaking out <laughs> i just thought that's very clever very very cleverly done really enjoyed it um i yeah i guess it, i guess it, it's it's a film with sort of a couple of layers to it like one layer would be the this idea of the fear of expressing your feelings for somebody else you know the potential embarrassment and that could be like you know same sex or opposite sex and then there is the whole kind of you know the young gay boy and the potential further embarrassment that he might feel about that um yeah it was like very cute and you know sentimental like uh yeah you know it's like a dessert with extra ice cream and extra cream like it's the kind of film that you either go, oh, that's lovely, that's so cute, or you kind of go, oh, you know, I can't watch any more of this. And uh, I was probably, you know, leaning towards the latter category, uh, but you know, I'm not to take away from it. Uh, it's a, a very, you know, very 
very clever idea, you know, the heart and everything like that. And uh, very well done. It reminds me of those old um, old Mickey Mouse, you know, not Mickey Mouse, like Don, Tom and Jerry, like, you know, the way they have the, I'm sure i uh, seen that, you know, do, 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 their heart painting it, but, um, but still, it does, it does, you know, represent this, this heart versus the head, you know, your, 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 your rational side versus your emotional side, you know, in constant battle. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, the thing with it is what like um too is the is the heart itself the way they animated the heart like the it's it's so cute, I think so. Um, maybe maybe because you're like the Grinch call you know and they have the little scene with the Grinch and his little shriveled heart and it finally yeah. kind of grows at the end but maybe yeah. it just hasn't got there yet so. <laughs> so <laughs> spoiler so, alert: when when the heart fun. breaks. Like yeah, spoiler alert! So like, when you see the little arms, it's like, oh my god! I mean, the little yeah. piece, of the heart. These I mean, little tiny little so arms cute. being stretched. It's just so cute. <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I uh, mean, was, you, you are right. The, the cute index. The cute <laughs> index was really, really high on this. Yeah, you. I, I can't yeah. argue with on that. They really went <laughs> for how cute could we possibly make this film? Uh, oh. You know, we do want it to have a nice little happy ending mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So it's really quite sweet and cute. So you definitely have to appreciate it for that. Yeah, yeah you should like you know get a have a slice of lemon maybe when you're eating <laughs> when you're watching. <laughs> The little yeah. boys, they're adorable though. Uh, oh, they're so yeah. cute. I mean, even with the music, it just the music, it's like you know, to the opening beat, it's like ah, oh, it's like a comfort blanket or something. This it's you know, kind of a Disney esque Pixar, and it, it's and the fact these are students is phenomenal. Yeah, they need to offer these students jobs at Pixar. Oh yeah, to happen to already anything. if they're not, they must be working. Yeah, if they're not already, when was this made? Um, yeah. twenty seventeen. So hopefully they're already working for Pixar. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it, maybe maybe there'd be no more jobs for animators with the advance of AI. Mm. I uh, on that subject, but completely off of the subject of this film, I applied for a job today, and I and I had Chat GPT write my cover letter for me. I was literally like, write me a cover letter for this. And it wrote it. And I'm like, that's pretty good. So I cut mm -hmm. it down a little bit, but I'd say 90% of what I sent them was what ChatGPT wrote and 10% was what I wrote. My God. It was awesome. It took me very little time. I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. I tried to have ChatGPT the other day and it's, uh, it's mad. Yeah, it's, it's quite so impressive. Bad. But um, to this, it's entirely possible. They have actually started, I've seen mm -hmm. stuff like that where they're actually working on animated bits where you can start taking uh, AI and be like, okay, I need, I want an animation that has this look to it and this is what happens in the animation. So that is getting there and it's entirely possible this, that AI will work some animators out of a job, certainly mm -hmm. possible, which sucks. Yeah, you'd wonder. I mean, I know it's off the, it's off the topic of the film, but I wonder will it will it stifle innovation then? Because at the moment, AI is just working on known techniques. You know. Yeah, I, it it might, especially. I mean, look at Hollywood, right? I mean, <laughs> look at Disney, which technically owns Pixar. You got Star Wars and Marvel coming out of Disney or taking their old animated cartoons and turning them into live action. So there's not a mm. lot of innovation coming out of there at the moment. So if that same thing flows into Pixar, that's possible. Mm. And by the way, it's not just animation. They can also do like, be able to do like real, you know, uh, yeah, whatever, what's the term? You know, real, real film, you know, real people. No, mm, yeah, yeah, could be. Yep, but that's a subject for another day. To this yes. little animated short, which was made by real people in the real world, uh, I guess we should probably get to the ratings point of our show. Uh, who yeah. wants to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, I didn't know it was a stream film, so. Uh, that I'll, I'll that'll move it up the rankings, 
uh wasn't it wasn't my cup of tea really as a story but uh, nonetheless i could see it's very meritorious so i'll give it three stars okay so for me it was cute absolutely cute factor 11 out of 10 it was uh, amazing music sucked me in from the start and it's a really good message i'm gonna give it five stars i'm with claire on this one it is yeah. it's so adorable it makes you want to vomit and for that reason <laughs> in a good way <laughs> in a good way exactly <laughs> so for that reason i am also going five stars on this film well mm -hmm. there you have it yeah there you have it audience check it out uh, if you want it is called in a heartbeat you can find it on youtube at the moment by esteban bravo and beth david let us know what you think. You can reach us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at No Budget Show. And with that, we'll say see you next time and goodbye. And goodbye. Bye.